is everybody doing? It's Thirsty Thursday. Go get yourself a drink. Any kind. I'm your host with the most. Holding it down from coast to coast. Smooth as the butter that you put on your toast. The one, the only, money flipping Matt Richards, a.k.a. Matt Woods. And this is HQ Trivia. The game show you play from your couch or wherever the heck you want to. Okay? Y'all ready for some fun? Party, people! It sounded like I asked you if you was ready for some fun party people. It was just it was a comma in there that my brain skipped. Howdy, y'all! <laughs> you know how to play, right? Okay, good. Because I'm going to ask you 15 questions. Answer all of them right, and you're going to win some money. You're going to win some money. You're going to win some money! I said it three times, so you know it's real. Yeah. Tonight is all about the most exciting moments this past decade. Can you believe we're almost at the end of another decade? Woo! It's crazy. What do you think is the most memorable moment of the 2010s, huh? Is it twerking? Is it HQ After Dark? I think it's HQ After Dark. Is it the Game of Thrones finale? Put it in the chat if you feel strongly about that. Who did who? But for now, let me tell you a little bit about some of the other games that we got coming up, okay? I hope you loved Christmas music trivia on HQ Tunes last Friday. Tomorrow, we're doing trivia all about the biggest hits from the 2010s. That's right. If you had to pick your favorite song from the decade, what would it be? Huh? No, that's a tough one. There's so many good ones. Then, Saturday is Smarter Day here on HQ. Tougher questions to feed your brain. This Saturday, the questions are all about holiday traditions. So tune in at 9 p.m. Eastern for that one. Yeah, yeah. Sunday, make sure you follow me through the 7-Eleven, 7-7-Eleven. Make sure you follow me through the 7-Eleven. <laughs> make sure you follow me through the seven levels of Candy Cane Forest. Past the sea of twir- Twirly Swirly, wow, that's, woo, I said it fine yesterday. Past the sea of Twirly Swirly Gumdrops and through the Lincoln Tunnel, because it's trivia all about the movie Elf. <sighs> make sure you throw a snowflake in the chat if you love that movie. Santa! I knew him. All right, we're almost through season 11. I got to know, how many of y'all are on level 10? If you're on level 10, let me see you put a big one and a zero right on in the chizat. Okay, I heard a few of y'all are there. Good for you. Yes, good on ya. Oh, if you want to multiply your points tonight, make sure you get yourself a point. Okay, you can multiply your points by 5, 10, or even 15. All right? Points get you to new levels, and levels give you free passes on the question. Yeah! Still can't believe that another decade just flowing on by. Feels like 2011 was yesterday. Man, that's crazy. It was eight years ago. I guess we're all just having so much fun anyways. Hmm. There's definitely some trends out there from the past decade that we 1,000% should keep and or oh, what, 10 million percent should not keep. Let's take this to a vote. Out of these trends, which one should go? Okay, Uggs, the In My Feelings Challenge with Drake when you had to stand out the car, or Boomerangs? I know what I'm voting for already. I'll just tell you now, I think the In My Feelings Challenge should, uh, why are you still doing it? Kiki don't love you. Thank you, 43% said In My Feelings. Come in, Bennett. Come in, my fellas. All right, here we go. Here's another one. Which one of these trends was the best? The TikTok app, Yeezys, or Lizzo? This is a no-brainer right here. I do my hair, my check my nail. Baby, I have a really good see you. <laughs> I don't know the words. Lizzo! Oh, I'm good at picking these that you guys are going to pick because we, like... All right, we got time for one more? Nope, we don't. So it's time to do this. Baby, how you doing? <laughs> oh yeah, look at the graphics. There's an eight and a two. Yee yee! All right, babies, nothing to it but to HQ it. Let's get it cracking with question 
number one. The Mad Men finale ended with an iconic commercial for what? Coca-Cola, Tesla Roadster, or Apple Watch? What's it gonna be? What is it going to be? All right, it's one of the most critically acclaimed shows of all time, and it ended with Don Draper sitting on top of a mountain, smiling, and then presumably using that inner piece to sell Coca-Cola. Take a look at this. I'd like to buy the world a home and furnish all right. it with love. Yeah, yeah. Always Coca-Cola, yeah. 70,394. You remember them commercials? Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Always. Okay. <laughs> Question number two. Here we go. Who was Kate Middleton's maid of honor? Pepper Middleton, Paisley Middleton, or Pippa Middleton? Really good as hell. Ah. All right. Remember when we all had royal wedding fever? No? I'm not talking about Harry and Meghan. The time before that, when Kate Middleton married Prince William in a giant televised ceremony, Kate had her sister Pippa Middleton at her side. Pippa, salt and Pippa's here, and we're in effect. All right, salt and Pippa. 76,356 of you got it right. Picks up, pick, make, make sure you pick up some extra lives before we kick it off, okay? Yeah, yeah. You can use up to three in a game. Get some right now by tapping on the pop-up, okay? You can use them up to the final question, or you get extra lives by tapping on the heart icon whenever you want, all right? Let's go to work. Here we go, Q3. The Red Wedding is a particularly intense scene from what TV show? Breaking Bad, The Good Wife, or Game of Thrones? What's it gonna be? People are still very sensitive about spoilers, even though the show's been out since 2011. So, I'm not gonna tell you what happens at the Red Wedding, just that it happened on Game of Thrones. I'm not crying. You crying, I'm not crying. I'm not even crying. 78,697 of you got it right. Yeah, yeah! We're moving on, babies, to question number four. Here we go. Megan Rapinoe is a champion in what sports? Ice skating, soccer, or basketball? I hope I said it right. Rapino, yep. Rapino. <laughs> Sorry, Megan. I love you. All right. She has played in every Women's World Cup this decade, as well as playing in the USA gold medal you know, she was on the team at the 2012 Olympics, y'all. Megan Rapino, she's been a force for women's soccer, and it's been cool as hell. That's right, 74,559 of you got it right. The football, baby! Soccer. <laughs> All right, question number five, here we go, for the children. Ah, 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 question five, question five. I, 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 question five. Oh, it's for the children. Who sings the original version of this song? Take a listen. And this is crazy, but here's my number. So call me maybe. Okay, dokie, was it Megan Trainer, Rebecca Black, or Carly Rae Jepsen? Was it gonna be? When Justin Bieber tweeted out Carly Rae Jepsen's song, Call Me Maybe, his social reach plus the song's catchy beats made it a viral hit that inspired videos like this. Carly Rae Jepsen, y'all. 65,895 of you got that right. Hey, I just met you, and this is crazy, but you're playing HQ. I'm quizzing, baby. Okay. You can never get enough trivia in your life, I know. I know this, and you know this as well. Did you know that you can practice HQ at any time, any place, anywhere with our daily challenge? Hmm? Did you know this? You can score points and coins to help you level up by practicing trivia on demand every day. Go check it out, daily challenge. Mm, 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 yeah. All right, question number six, here we go. 
when Tesla launched launched a roadster into space, what did the display on the dashboard say? Don't panic. Hello, friends, or Elon Musk. Back when they launched a roadster into space. Elon Musk said Tesla launched a car into space because it was, quote, the silliest thing we can imagine. It contained a copy of Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, a towel, and a sign that said, Don't Panic, a tribute to the book. Don't panic. Don't panic. Yes, 40,743 in the place to be. whoop de dee whoop de dee <laughs> All right, y'all, we're going on to question number seven. Here we go. According to the social network, what advice did Sean Parker give Mike, Mark Zuckerberg? Ooh, settle your lawsuits, rename the website, or order the sashimi. Justin Timberlake played the Napster founder, Sean Parker, in the social network. Giving such gems as a million dollars isn't cool. You know what it is? Hmm? And uh, drop the the. Just Facebook. It's cleaner. Did it really happen that way? Who knows? Who knows? 34,216 of y'all got it right. Rename the website. Just Facebook. Here we go. Question number eight. Hope you're feeling great. <laughs> I love it. I'm never going to not love it. I'm going to love it every time. Question eight. The college admission scandal involving Lori Laughlin is named Operation What? Empty Nest, Varsity Blues, or All American? What is it going to be? Who says the FBI doesn't have fun naming their operations, huh? Television's best B-listers went down in the scandal that captured a nation. Operation Varsity Blues is the decade's best scandal, y'all. 33,492 knew what to do. Oh, shoot, look at you. Moving right along, shall we? To question number nine. Dilly dilly. Here we go. Q9. Which Destiny's Child song did the group perform at Beachella? Bills, 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 Soldier, or Bootylicious? Nope, it wasn't that one. When Beyonce, Michelle, and Kelly get together, it's a big deal, okay? They performed a few of their biggest hits when Beyonce headlined Coachella, including Baby Boy, Made Me Lose My Breath, and Say My Name, Say My Name, When No One Is Around You, and Soldier, Where They At, Where They At? I need some soldiers in here. Where they at? The ones been that don't make where they at? I need some soldiers in here. 13,047 of you are soldiers. Say cash money is an army. I'm walking with purple hearts on me. You're talking to the sergeant, darling. Lil Wayne sound like, <laughs> sound like he has some weird helium. Okie dokie. Question number 10. Here we go. After Anthony Weiner. <laughs> mm -hmm. After Anthony Weiner resigned from Congress, he announced he would return to run for what? Co-op president, best husband, or New York City mayor? I'm so immature. Weiner, what were you doing? After his first scandal made him resign from Congress, he announced he was coming back to run for mayor, only to be taken down by a second scandal, which was pretty much the same as the first one. <laughs> when will you learn? Win a man? Ah, 15,270 got it right. Come on now, let's go to work. That's my new dance. Okay, y'all ready for this? Q11, all dogs go to heaven. Who raps Willy Wonka in their verse on Kanye West's Monster? Jay-Z, Rick Ross, or Nicki Minaj? Who's it gonna be? Who is it going to be? We've been through a lot with Kanye this decade, but there's no denying My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy is one heck of an album. It is dope, okay? On Monster, Nicki Minaj ran away with the song, name-checking everyone from Chucky to Barbie to Willy Wonka. Pull up in that tonka color of Willy Wonka. You can be the queen, but what the king conquer? First things first, I'll eat your brains. Then I'ma start rocking gold teeth and fangs. Cause that's what a money flipping monster do. 
Millie, Millie, so silly. Here we go. <laughs> 14,301 of you did it. Let's get with it. Question number 12, here we go. What internet event happened on the same day pictures of this dress went viral? Take a look. What's it gonna be? Well, let's see. Was it Michaela is not impressed, Coney 2012, or Llamas escaped? Use your noodles, babies. What is it going to be? Hmm. All right, it was the internet's biggest day, February 26, 2015. I'll never forget it, okay? I remember it like it was yesterday. That's when photos of the dress that was definitely black and blue, and blue and black, it hit the internet, right? And two llamas went on the lamb in Arizona. And now, black llama and white llama are reunited, and it feels where, so where good. Where did they get out? Come on now. Let my llamas go. 10,255 got it right. You knew about the llamas. Corny 2012 was wrong, as was Michaela is not impressed. Tee hee hee hee. Moving right along to question number 13. Here we go. Y'all ready for this? The stars of what classic film accidentally named La La Land Best Picture at the Oscars? Kramer vs. Kramer, Chinatown, Bonnie and Clyde. Look, Warren Beatty and Faye Dunaway may have played Outlaw Thieves in Bonnie and Clyde, but when they said the wrong name at the Oscars, it was purely an accident. Take a look. We lost, by the way, but, you know. Guys, guys, I'm sorry. No, there's a, there's a mistake. Moonlight, you guys won Best Picture. Moonlight won. Whoopsie! That, remember when Steve Harvey messed up? <laughs> it was kind of the same. See, it happens. It's not easy to host things and read in front of all these people. But I think I do it gracefully. Anyway, 11,217 of you got it right. I'm so proud of y'all. High fives, hugs, and love. Question 14, here we go. Which of these famous people did not do the ice bucket challenge? Bono, Bill Gates, or George W. Bush? Who's it gonna be? The viral challenge was to raise money for ALS. Yep, Lou Gehrig's disease. And it proved wildly successful, except with Bono, who got called out multiple times, but never did it. I'm trying to say bucket, and then Bono threw me off, because I was like, who did not do the ice Bono challenge? Whoops! <laughs> 5,927 of y'all got that right. We made it to the final question, baby! Yeah, 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 yeah. Hootie hoo. All right now. Question 15. According to Lady Gaga, her meat dress was a comment on what cultural issue? Animal rights, don't ask, don't tell, or immigration? Y'all remember the meat dress, right? It was a dress made out of meat. It's crazy. It would make sense that a dress made out of beef would be tied to animal rights, but it wasn't! It was in protest of the US military's don't ask, don't tell policy. So now you know that. And 2000, oh my gosh, we got 2,390 winners. Yeah. Rocket ship blast off, let's go. That was fun. Na 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 na. Get in the zone, HQ zone. <laughs> Yo, we just did that. That was Liddy in the city. Congratulations, everybody. DYY 1974 and Fritzy Show and Stage of Gree Greg <laughs> Lost Dump and Lily Bell Tactical Leverage Newbie D Chagray. <clears throat> And Dallin, Nick the Bow, JM Canfield, Genius 2, Aaron Dav, and then Unknown, Joe in Indy, and Susu Soul. Yeah, y'all did that. We had 200 
and 2,390 winners. That's crazy. Congrats to all of you. I've been your host, Matt Richards. You can follow me here, all over the socials, at Matt Was Funny. Make sure you don't forget, tomorrow we got a fun best of the decade tunes game for you at 9 p.m. Eastern time. Don't miss it. I'm going to see y'all later. Peace. Bye-bye.